First at noon, honoring the service of a 19-year veteran of the Arvada Police Department. People lined the streets before the service started for Officer Gordon Beasley. And inside the church, family sharing pictures and officers shared stories about him. Hello, I'm Kelly Worthman. Thanks for being with us. Officer Beasley died after a gunman ambushed him in Old Town, Arvada. Today, he's being remembered as a great father and friend. Both started having kids. Oh, would we laugh. Who would have thought of two grown men carrying guns would be talking about changing diapers as much as we did? Karen, I thank you on behalf of the police department, every school staff member, every student, every citizen, every employee of the city of Arvada, his school resource officer partners, every person in this room that knew Gordon and myself. Thank you for sharing him with us. McKellia White joining us live in Lafayette this afternoon and Mech, many people lined the processional route to pay their respects this morning. They did, Kelly. They lined South Boulder Road in his honor this morning. Now, we know that Officer Gordon Beasley, Beasley was well loved by this community. He was known as being caring, kind, funny, compassionate when it came to his students, and he used his musical talents actually to connect with those students. Now, his procession started this morning at around 8 o'clock at I-25 and Highway 7 in Thornton. Now, it traveled to South Boulder Road, then here to Flatirons Community Church in Lafayette. Officer Beasley was a 19-year veteran of the Arvada Police Department, and he served as a school resource officer at Oberon Middle School, but was on patrol duty for the summer. Now, Beasley was shot and killed in the line of duty on June 21st by a gunman who targeted him because he was a police officer. Officer Beasley's impact was widely known, and students who knew him say he touched everyone's lives, dedicated to making sure that they were safe. He was honestly wonderful, like everybody at Oberon, like even like some of the not so great kids like all the time were always like he is literally my favorite person in the world like the best cop in the world and this and that like he always had a smile on his face he literally never came into work with like awful like bad vibes or anything like he was always there when kids needed help and stuff and like he was always there to talk and if you'd like to help Officer Beasley's family, you can donate to the Colorado Fallen Hero Foundation. We have a link for you on cbsdenver.com if you'd like to do that. Live in Lafayette, McKellia White covering Colorado first. He clearly had a big impact.